Hello everyone, it's Mizuki Arts. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have a funny little video for you all. I had um, a much different video concept in mind um, before I started recording this voiceover, but for those of you who um, don't know me personally, um, I wanted to tell you all that I am graduating high school, which is exciting um, and scary and and all of those all of those fun things um anyways i wanted to talk about what it's like being the art kid at school uh whether it's middle school or high school um and maybe some of you will relate to these things or maybe you'll just find them funny um and that they're different from your own experiences um in which case i implore you to share your experience in being the art kid down below I wasn't really sure how I wanted to format this video, but anyways, before we get started, um, I want to say thank you to Ashley for supporting me on Ko-fi. Uh, it's because of people like you that I can keep putting out uh, content and as much as I do, so thank you so much. Um, and if anyone else wants to go and uh, get full access to my sketchbook, uh, lots of work in progress pictures, and more, um, then click the link down below in the description box and head on over to my Kofi. All right, so let's get started. The first kind of thing that um, I wanted to talk about with being an art kid was kind of the like antisocial aspect of it. And I don't mean just because of the stereotype of um, artists being introverts. Um, I myself am an introvert, so I guess it's uh, the stereotype fits me. But um, anyways, um, it's kind of like, you know, the athletes have their teams um, and the theater kids have drama, but the art kids kind of just do their own thing. And, you know, there's there's art club, but art club isn't the same as being in your own, like, your own world of a sketchbook, you know, like, the art, the art club is more like photography and school related projects, but being in the world of your own sketchbook doesn't really have a lot of like uh, social stuff that adds on to it. Um, and obviously there are still ways you can become friends with artists in school. Um, I, I have a ton of artist friends from, from high school, but um, you know, um, there's, there's definitely um, an antisocial aspect to it um, that goes beyond artists just being introverted, um, where it's like, it's harder to find other artists because you're not going to the same place like after school or something to sit there and draw and like exchange techniques and stuff and if only art club was that but it's not <laughs> the next kind of talking point um i wanted to talk about was like um doing art on group projects um, so if you're an artist that's in school right now or an artist that, you know, was openly an artist in school, um, then you'll probably relate to this. Um, usually, you know, you get like a uh, very not hands-on assignments for school, right? Like, like writing a paper or, you know, equations for math. But every once in a while, you get something thrown at you like make a poster or design a graphic for this class or, or whatever you know and instantly when that happens it's like everyone everyone turns their head you know like every everyone's like oh i if i don't if i if i don't want to work with my friends because my friends won't help me or will leave all the work on me i'm gonna run to the art kit and that <laughs> And that seems to be like um, a common theme. Um, I I remember experiencing that a couple times in like my history class because we had um, a couple a couple projects that we had to do like hands-on stuff for. Um, so so that was that was interesting. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was certainly funny because I wasn't like I'm not I was for sure not popular in high school. I was kind of a loner, to be honest. I mean, I had I had art friends, you know, but like I was still pretty much a loner for most of the time um, because I transferred schools. <laughs> um, but 
yeah um that was that was a funny experience for me to just have that like moment of popularity just because <laughs> just because the teacher said we were gonna have to draw for a project Honestly, this next point is probably what got me through high school. Like, not only like uh, what what like helped me stay motivated to go to class and like get up early in the morning to go to class, um, but also what probably kept me sane. Um, it's drawing in class. Now, this is something that is like infamously discouraged um, uh, <laughs> in class. Like, like you're not supposed to be even doodling in class but um see this is interesting because i always brought like a full paint palette to class <laughs> like um in my freshman year of high school or at the end of my freshman year i guess um i, s I picked up watercolor paints um i remember actually on the like the last day after school um i went to a, run some errands with my parents and and i picked up my first set um but uh i i kind of i kind of loved them so much that um i started just bringing them to school with me um when when school started back up <laughs> so um i started painting in class like um i had i had those brushes that hold water so i didn't have to have a water cup um, so the teachers really couldn't say anything about, like, the mess factor because it's all water-soluble paint. Um, I had my water contained and I promised that I would clean up any messes if there were any. And to be honest, I only ever got stopped once and it was by a teacher that was already in a bad mood. <laughs> so I don't know if there's any other students out there, like, especially in recent years who've had teachers that are just so lenient that they just don't care. Um... I did have a teacher make one kind of like backhanded comment about it, but but other than that, I wasn't stopped, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, I feel like that's something that, I don't know, is a fairly recent change, but I wonder if there are any other students that relate to just drawing in class whenever you can, um, or painting in class or whatever. Um, I know there are a lot that talk about like like doodling in class and and sketching in class and of course I did all that too but um, especially sophomore year onwards I, I painted I did full-on paintings in my class the next talking point I wanted to bring forward um, was the kind of embarrassment um, that can come with being um, a young artist especially um, in that those first couple years of you kind of figuring it out and taking it more seriously um like like maybe in your first year of high school in my experience or maybe you're still in middle school or maybe you're a senior who knows but um for me it was my freshman year of high school uh, i was just starting to take art a little more seriously and i couldn't really bring myself to be open about being an artist and so i kind of I think I looked like a wallflower in that way because I wasn't really doing any sports or clubs because I was doing so much art, but of course I wasn't like sharing that art and at the time I wasn't drawing in class. But anyways, to anyone who uh, might relate to this last one especially, um, to feeling like you're, you're antisocial about your art, like you just don't want to share it. Um, just just branch out a little bit try to find some other art kids um in your school and and hang out with them and see see if you can support each other because really you're in the same boat and you might be able to help each other when i first uh started getting into art and like taking it seriously as a potential career um i was really into like uh, doll design, doll customizing, and sculpting. Um, I enjoyed drawing, of course, but it just, it wasn't what I was taking seriously, um, and so I think I was a little bit embarrassed to be, like, so into dolls <laughs> as a high school student, but looking back on it, it's like, I was an art kid, I liked doing art, and I didn't think I had anything to be embarrassed about, um, like, I really shouldn't have been, um, but, you know, that's, that's just how I feel now, and I totally understand that being someone that's just getting into it all, um, might, might not feel that same way, you know? So that's okay, and just, you know, it's your own journey, so try to have fun with it. 
Um, and yeah, that's just about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, be sure to like and subscribe if you did. And uh, check out my links down below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!